हाय हेलो नमस्ते माय नेम इज अभिषेक पाठक दिस इज डॉट नेट कूस पार्ट टू इन पार्ट वन आई एक्सप्लेन फ्यू इम्पॉर्टेंट डॉट नेट कूस इंटरव्यू क्वेश्चन एंड दोज वर व्हाट इज डॉट नेट फ्रेमवर्क डिफरेंट वर्जन ऑफ डॉट नेट व्हाट इज लेटेस्ट डॉट नेट फ्रेमवर्क एंड विजुअल स्टूडियो अवेलेबल व्हाट इज कूब्स इम्पॉर्टेंट कूब्स कॉन्सेप्ट वॉट इज क्लास एंड हाउ वी कैन डिक्लेयर द क्लास एंड लास्ट वन वॉज what is object and how we can declare the object in part 2 we will be studying about few important topics that is what are naming convention for class in dot net can we create class name with numbers can we use special characters to create the class by default class follows which access modifier and last one will be types of access specifier or modifier so let's understand how we can create the class and what will be the naming convention for class so let's open the visual studio let's add one class here this is the console application which i used in part 1 so let's add one class so let's give the class name here admin okay so can we create the class with number like this okay if i build the application let's right click on project and say build okay so okay identifier is expected so we cannot create the class name with number why because when we create the object name with number then that will be not meaningful that's why we cannot create the class name with number okay so okay now can we use a special character to create the class let's try with this at the rate something suppose admin okay let's build the application okay again we are getting the error because in class we cannot use the special character so is there any special character which can be used with class yes there is one special character that is known as a underscore so underscore underscore can be used with class name okay so those question were asked uh, from fresher or they may be ask how the class can be created what are the naming convention for classes okay now uh, okay so the tenth one by default class follows which access modifier so access modifier means if we don't provide any access modifier here so by default class follows some certain access modifier or specifier can you guess which one is this public private or what okay so let's uh, do one practical here what we will do we will have one one public int age is equal to 10 let's create the object of this one okay let's create the object of that class here and this say admin add new admin admin and now let's access the age okay so we are able to access the uh, property this access this uh, class in same project okay now let's add that particular class or let's uh, use that class in some other project so we will be adding one more project let's give the name uh, class library and here if i want to use the this uh, if i want to use this admin in this project what we have to do right click and add reference okay so here like this first and if i want to use here so let's uh, using so what's the project name console first let's create the object of this admin here so admin class 1 okay and uh, add is equal to new admin so let's build the application as we can see it's showing the error if we build the application we will get the inaccessible due to its protection level because by default class is internal okay by default so by default 
class is internal okay there are different access modifiers are available okay so uh, types of access modifiers are available so let's open a notepad i'll explain in detail so there are five types of are available the five types of access modifier are available first one is public okay so first one is public second one is private third one is internal fourth one is protected fifth one is protected internal okay so these are the access modifier which are available and it is also called access specifier so as i said by default class is internal internal means internal means same project only same project only and sometimes it is called same dll same library okay so always remember because people are confused between uh, so some say class is private some say class is public so by default class is internal which will be accessible only in this project not outside the project if we create this class as public okay and let's go to this class one as you can see let's build the application so build is successful as you can see we don't get any error so by default class is internal important point we have to remember by default classes okay so that's it from this video and uh, till now i have covered uh, 11 important oops questions and uh, if you want me to cover any specific topic then please subscribe share my video and uh, thanks for watching watching my video thanks good